Hi everyone, the backlash against wind and solar energy is real, it's global, and it is growing. Uh, I wrote about this in a piece that was published on Fox News last week. Uh, you know, I usually publish and only write on Substack, but I wanted to get this piece out to a wider audience, and it has reached a wider audience. In fact, uh, the piece on Fox News has had over 3,000 comments. Um, and what did I do? I just documented the fact that all around the world, local communities are saying, we don't want these solar and wind projects. Go take them and put them somewhere where the sun doesn't shine, the wind doesn't blow. We don't want them here. Uh, so what are the numbers? Uh, as I've shown in the Renewable Rejection Database, at least 639 uh, rejections or restrictions on solar or wind energy here in the United States since 2015. Um, in France and Ireland, since last December, courts have ruled that wind projects are a nuisance due to the noise pollution they create. Uh, in England, since January alone, five solar projects have been rejected. Um, in Canada, re a remarkable development in Canada in the province of Alberta, in February, uh, provincial regulators uh, announced they were going to seek a 35 kilometer setback. That's about 21 and a half miles. 35 kilometer setback for, uh, for, of wind and solar projects from any pristine areas, parks, etc. cetera. Um, here in the US, the rejections just keep piling up. It's challenging to keep track of them, but I do keep track of them, of course, in the Renewable Rejection Database. Uh, in February, in Tennessee, in Shelby County, uh, county regulators rejected a solar project that was being proposed to uh, help uh, fuel a data center owned by Facebook. Um, and then, of course, uh, Osage County, Oklahoma, where the Osage tribe has won a historic victory uh, against Enel, uh, and the judge, the federal court judge in Tulsa, has ruled that Enel will have to take down 84 wind turbines that it built illegally um, on the tribe tribe's uh, traditional lands and because they violated the tribe's sovereignty. So um, I'm proud of this piece in Fox News. You can find it there on foxnews.com. Um, and of course, you know where to find me on uh, Substack, robertbrice.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.